Well, folks, here we again for the weekly forecast. Of course, the big news during this last week was the very warm conditions on Monday and Tuesday. In fact, on Tuesday, numerous records set across the state as uh, highs moved well up into the 80s, upper 80s, and into the low 90s. And in fact, a few locations had their earliest ever recorded 90 degree reading, uh, and that dates back all the way back into the 1895 time period. Lincoln was one of those such stations that set that. Then as we got into Wednesday, we got a colder air, cloudy conditions, a little bit of drizzle, light rainfall reported in a few locations, but nothing measurable. And then of course we had the clouds sock in on Thursday across southern Nebraska that kept the temperatures down. And of course we started to see the sunshine as we got into yesterday and very warm conditions persisted across the state. And we expect the same thing as we move through this weekend before we turn our attention to several systems moving across the region that have the potential to develop precipitation. And we need that precipitation because from the southwestern northeast Nebraska we now have moved the drought monitor into abnormally dry conditions, a reflection of the lack of moisture the last six weeks and also in combination to the lack of significant moisture that was reported during the month of September where areas of eastern Nebraska and the Panhandle received generous moisture. So let's see if we have any moisture in store and the first thing I'll draw your attention to for today is that we have high pressure that's temporarily moving into our region so very nice conditions. Everybody should be in the upper 60s to the lower 70s except for southwest Nebraska that may make it up into the mid 70s. Now as we go into tomorrow that system of the Pacific Northwest is expected to move toward the southeast and move into the lower Great Lakes region and that may generate some precipitation across northeast Nebraska in the form of light rain and then as it gets on the back side of that low potentially snow during the overnight hours. East central and southeast Nebraska are going to be in the warm sector It may actually generate some thunderstorm activity. In fact the models are indicating that the tendency for extreme southeast Nebraska to have the highest probability of moisture with areas of Iowa seeing more widespread rainfall. So as we get into Monday, that system now moves over to the Great Lakes region. We turn our attention to the next storm system moving through the Central Rockies that is going to start moving some energy out into the Northern Plains, and that may generate some widespread snowfall, with some of that actually possibly getting into northwestern portions of the state, particularly as we get into the Monday night time frame and early Tuesday morning. And then the cold air comes around, we see some snow potential for the Northwest, more widespread precipitation for Central and Eastern Nebraska, and we may actually see, again, thunderstorm development. And as that moves to our Southeast, we we may actually see a little bit of light snow in the northeast part of the state. By the time we get to Wednesday, one last piece of energy starts to dive down toward the southern plains. It's not going to have any impact in terms of our precipitation. We are going to see that system drive down well into the Texas Big Bend area and we'll be in the cool conditions. And then as we get into Friday, we still stay in the cool conditions with the moisture staying well to our south. So if we look at the temperature forecast, kind of a slow jog down as the week progresses with some chances of moisture during the midweek period. And as we look at the 8 to 14 day period from next Thursday following Tuesday, the cool conditions stay in place in terms of precipitation, more of a normal precipitation pattern for the Central Plains.